Our next question type is a drag and drop text question that we're going to add to a quiz. To that we go into our quiz and we choose add new question and we're going to go down to drag and drop into text. Choose add. Let's name our quiz. This is going to be quiz question number six in this particular quiz question. Let's add our question text. Paste that in. A question text is due to the need for art that prints at and the drag and drop word here will be, or words, will be multiple sizes, then the word responsive, then varying, then vector files, and they're all in brackets. Our default mark will be one, and here are our choices. So let's go and populate our choices. So we can have multiple sizes. Let's go and put that in for answer one. And once we put that in, we just grab that bracket, bracket, one, close bracket, close bracket. And that goes in here for number one. So responsive, we can actually put it in while we're here, is number two. Just there, so that's where we'll have our two. For our third one, number three, we'll just put in number three. And number four is vector files. There's number four. There's vector files, and we've got number four. We've put that in correctly. Yes, four with the brackets around it. That's it. And we're going to leave the groups and things. We won't worry about those at the moment. We're just going to go save changes and have a look. Let's see what it looks like by clicking on our little magnifying glass. And you can see here we have, due to the need for art that prints at multiple sizes, and responsive web design adapting to varying screen sizes. Vector files are a necess necessity of modern design. And if we fill in correct, you'll see that it's dropped them all in correct. Notice that it didn't leave the words down here for them to try and use multiple words in the content. Because what you can do, if we just close that and go back in and edit using the cog, we can choose things like, oops, modern, one size only as other options that can be put in there that aren't actual they're just going to appear there to be chosen and we can also choose unlimited so we could do that for both of those you can do that for all of them if you like but i'll show you what that does if we save and go back to preview you'll notice that we now have some we only have four areas to drop in but we have more answers than what we need remember multiple sizes we clicked that tick box, if I drag multiple sizes up, notice it keeps multiple sizes down there. So the assumption is that multiple sizes could be used more than once. In this case, it's not, but it could be. One size only is also an option that we can put in there. So if we choose responsive, um, varying, notice if I drop that on varying to replace it, it puts varying back down, puts that one back up again, and modern, and I can submit and finish and I actually got them wrong, but because it doesn't do our grading yet, it doesn't actually tell us what the different sizes are. But let's just start again. Filling correct responses to just check. So it prints at multiple sizes and responsive web design, adapting to varying screen sizes, vector files are necessary. And we've got the other duplicates there and the one size only and modern that weren't used. Everything is now correct for that quiz. If we did want to, we could just go back in and remove those extra ones because they're probably not necessary and remove unlimited and we'll save that and our quiz question is now ready to go as a drag and drop text